Annapolis with the rain there clouding up the screen and the clouds just really looking bad. But I think and the bark is worse than the bite perhaps with those clouds. Yeah, it really is. It's not as bad as what it looks like mm -hmm. outside. However, today grilled cheese tomato soup Absolutely. That sounds good. <laughs> it should be on the Perfect. lunch menu, especially when it's as cold as it is outside mm -hmm. because unfortunately the clouds are going to keep temperatures cool as we head into the afternoon. But you mentioned the rain. Mm -hmm. Rain really sticking around as we head through the afternoon into tonight. And it'll finally start to let up as we head a little bit later into the forecast, especially as we go into tomorrow. Goodness. Live Doppler 13 radar right now showing scattered showers continuing across portions of central Indiana. And Carrie, as we go through the afternoon, those scattered showers will stick with us. So if you're hoping that you actually won't have to keep the umbrella around, that's not going to be the case. Yeah. Afternoon plans today? No, actually. I think I'm going to go in and take a nap. And actually, my daughter, she's out for fall break, yeah. so we're planning to head over to the uh, state fairgrounds and do some ice skating. Perfect weather for that, huh? It's perfect weather for napping and then perfect weather to finally stay yeah. inside as we go into the afternoon. So here's where we're going with that satellite radar right now. Notice how we have that spin in the atmosphere. This is something that Sean, Kelly, Chuck, and Angela have been talking about all week. The slow-moving system just doesn't want to move out of central Indiana. We have the clouds in place, and those clouds are going to stick with us through the afternoon and unfortunately we're going to continue to get some spotty showers as well. We do have more rain up to the north. This is going to continue to wrap around until the system completely pushes to the east and until we say we're done with it, well, we're going to continue to see that rain. This is right now live Doppler 13 radar. You'll see that up through Kokomo and Howard County we have some light but steady rain. Elwood, Cicero, Fortville, Greenfield. This is going to extend along the I-69 corridor, also up 421, 52, and I-70. So if you're going to be traveling anywhere this afternoon, you'll have to use those windshield wipers through Hendricks County and Avon. Monrovia, Greenwood, down I-65, it turns a little more spotty, however, through Bloomington, also as you head towards Columbus and just north of Bedford, in Brown County, we have a nice soaking. Remember, this is always online, just click to WTHR.com, but when you're on the go, download the free SkyTrack weather app, you will always be able to see where that rain is. And Carrie was mentioning a very gloomy day, that's what it is, and temperatures, they're not moving much, 55 degrees. Winds out of the southeast right now at about 10 miles per hour, and you'll notice that these temperatures are pretty much the same. 55 in Marion, 57 in Muncie, 54 in Greensburg, 56 in Terre Haute, and 54 degrees in Bloomington and Columbus. We are running cooler than where we were at this time yesterday. Anywhere between 5 to even 11 degrees cooler, and we're not really going to go up much as we head into the afternoon. Thanks in part to the cloud cover and the spotty showers. This is a view in Kokomo right now. And from the north, we also head down to the south. Brown County Leaf Cam, you see a lot of those leaves are already starting to change. It's going to be a great weekend to head out and look at some of those fall colors. Temperatures today only up to about 58 degrees as we go into the afternoon. Scattered showers will be likely. It's not going to rain all day, but it's these pesky showers that we've been talking about. And speaking of October rain, seems like we've had a pretty rainy month. So far, we've picked up just about two and a half inches of rain for an entire month of October. It's normal to pick up just over three inches of rain. We should not come close to that record that is just shy of nine inches of rain set back in 1919. We will see breezy conditions this evening with some spotty showers continuing through 11 o'clock. Temperatures falling into the low 50s. And you see on future track 13 as we see that moisture wrap around that those showers become isolated tonight, but we still have a few in the forecast, especially as we go into early tomorrow morning. It's going to be less tomorrow, but still a chance to keep that umbrella handy. 50 degrees as we go in tonight. Cool, cloudy. Chance of drizzle, 49 in Peru, 48 in Muncie, and 46 degrees in Nashville. For your Thursday forecast, we'll warm it up to 64 degrees. I have a mix of sun and clouds in there. I think the clouds are going to win out, and we have a slight chance of a sprinkle as we take you through your Thursday. Notice on Future Track 13, for the most part, the clouds are going to win out, but as we go later into the afternoon, that's when we start to see just a few isolated sprinkles develop. So we'll keep track of that as we head through the day tomorrow, but we're finally starting to dry out. And you see it in the seven-day forecast. Friday is going to be the pick of the week, 69 degrees. We will also have on Friday some windy conditions, but it's going to be comfortable for Operation Football. Then the weekend, Carrie said it'd be sunny, but look at that, 55 degrees, and then we start out Sunday morning in the upper 30s. So a cool down, but it will be dry, the yeah, price to pay. It is fall after all, right? <laughs> well, now we're going to fast forward to Halloween with our fingers crossed that we don't have weather yeah. like we do today, and an opportunity that will take Halloween to a whole new level. Get this, kids can win one hour of trick-or-treating with one of the city's most popular mascots. Yeah, the Indianapolis Indians Pumpkin Wars competition gives kids under the age of 14 to show off their 
pumpkin carving skills and pumpkin decorating skills. The winner will get one hour of trick or treat time with Rowdy. So here's what you need to do. Just email a photo of your pumpkin featuring an Indianapolis Indians player, Rowdy or baseball theme. And then the Indians will select five finalists and let fans vote on the best one. All five finalists receive a 2015 Not Whole Kids Club membership while the winner gets an hour of trick or treat time with Rowdy. You see last year's winner right there. But what kind of pumpkin won? Well, tried to make <laughs> Rowdy there in his likeness, and it looks pretty good. If you want.